Good morning. Welcome to Moments with Pastor Belinda. Come down here on the lake again. Wanted to just put a video out there for y'all. Uh, you know, we were talking last night about God's provision and how in such a rough time it is really important to have someone you can turn to. And you can turn to the Lord in times of need. And in Philipp Philippians uh, chapter 4, verse 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing. But to take your request and your prayers to the Lord with thanksgiving. And you know, that is one of the best ways to do it. When we are thankful, it wins the heart of God. He wants a thankful heart in his people. And I just want to encourage you to do that. Take your prayers to the Lord. Ask him to help you. Ask him to, to uh, take care of the situation. And we have not because we ask not. And I just want to encourage you today that God is alive. He is on the throne. And you know, we were sharing last night, I, was, I mentioned that a testimony time we had in Nicaragua. I was running a team and uh, my host pastor and my translator um, were there with me. And my husband, Pastor Rusty, had mentioned that there weren't enough supplies for the day and that if we found rice to buy it, but that everybody was probably going to run out. Um, anyway, we, I told my pastor and my translator, I said, let's lay hands on these supplies and we did, we prayed over them that there would be plenty. And you know, we went through the day and we never ran out. We didn't run out of rice. We never ran out of supplies. And that is uh, such a blessing to the people there in the mountains of Nicaragua. And anyway, I turned, returned home and it's kind of funny, but uh, I, we, I was all excited that we didn't run out and we had leftover. And we should not have, by the account of the people that we fed and what we had loaded on our bus, there should not have been any left. But you know, when, when we got back to the, to the host church and went to looking at what was left over, we had leftovers. And guys, we had laid hands on that and asked God to multiply. And I told uh, Pastor Rusty, I said, hey babe, I said, you know, we've got some left over, isn't that awesome? And his first words were, y'all took more than you were supposed to then, because everybody ran out. And I'm like, no, 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 you wait a minute. We laid hands on that food. We laid hands on that rice. We asked God to multiply it. And that is exactly what happened. And you know, um, I think he felt kind of bad after, after I told him what we had done, but we had laid hands on it and asked for multiplication before we ever even went out that morning. And you know, God will do that for you. He will multiply your food sources. He will multiply. Um, little old Casey here in our church, uh, he spoke last night and he mentioned praying over the gas tank. You know, let's do that. Pray over your gas tank. God can multiply the miles per gallon you're getting. Um, you don't, you're not subject to the world's laws when you live in the kingdom of God. You are subject to the kingdom laws. And if we release those things in our lives, we will see miraculous things happen. And God wants to do that for you, not just for us here at the Glory Barn in Branson, but for every person who believes and asks. You know, you just need to do that. Just ask, ask again. You don't have because you didn't ask. We are going to ask. We're going to take our petitions before the Lord with thanksgiving. And you know, it's such an awesome day. I know it has been hot all across the U.S. Um, we're experiencing a really heavy heat wave. I went to Walmart last night to get some more bottled water and I found they did not have any. But you know what? I have a God that can supply. I have a God that will provide. And just an update on our house here in Branson that Rusty and I are restoring. Um, you know, we believe that and heard from the Lord that he would supply every penny that we needed for it. And uh, the other day I was, I was praying over the house and praying over the finances. And I've even consulted God in what to buy and what not to buy on this remodel. And, and you know, we're redeeming it from a drug house. <laughs> so it's taken a lot of prayer. We've saturated that thing with prayer. But, uh, you know, I was like, God, is there more funds coming in or is what we have in the account it? You know, do I really need to pinch these pennies? And um, he didn't answer me. But, you know, the next, that weekend, um, I got a text from our, our treasurer. And I may have mentioned this in one of the other videos. She texted me and said, Belinda, someone put a check in the offering for $2,500. And the memo says for Rusty and Belinda's house. And I'll tell you what, it made me shout. It makes me cry. God has said he would supply. He told me at the beginning to make a list. 
and put down how much it was going to cost and that he would provide it. And you know what? He is faithful to his words. He has supplied everything we have needed as it has come up. And I want to thank the Lord for that. I have a thankful heart to him for what he has done. And uh, let me just pray over you guys. I'm excited about the kingdom. I'm excited about the presence of the Lord. And uh, we feel it here in the Glory Barn in Branson, Missouri. If you're in the area, stop in. We would love to meet you. Just let us know where you saw us and say hi. We'd appreciate that. But uh, I'm going to pray over you guys, man, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I just release multiplication upon my friends watching today. God, I ask, Lord, that you multiply their bank accounts. God, I ask you multiply the fuel in the tanks of their cars. God, I ask Lord, that you make them the head and not the tail. That God, you, we would have your blessing radiating from us so much that the world would say, what is your secret? What is your secret? And we can tell them it is God Almighty. It is God Almighty. He is alive and he is on the throne and he is ready to help if you'll call on him. And I just speak blessing over my friends that are watching in the name of Jesus. And I release multiplication in their life. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, for all of them. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you're in the area, do stop in. Holler at us. Love you. Bye-bye.